Good morning. Hello. It is 83.9 degrees in here. Nice. It's almost as hot as my room. We're, we're back at the gold saucer. Yay. It's time for those special battles. The thing we said we were going to do, but didn't. So, special battles are basically the exact same thing as before, except kind of harder. Only slightly harder? Uh... It was Omni Slash, that's what it is. You buy Omni Slash and W Summon, and that's what unlocks the special battles. Um, mm. They're basically harder. I mean, it's it's a lot more, like, um, single enemies that you're fighting against. A lot of, like, bigger single enemies. Potentially, could you just have half speed over and over again, and you just kind of, like, at a low percent of your speed, or just, just cut your speed to half and that's it? I think it halves your speed, but if, if you got it again, it might half it again. Hmm. So as you can see, these things aren't dying in one hit. These things actually have uh, some health. You <laughs> get a decent amount of health. See, I can't tell if that's the thunder in the video or the thunder in the background. It's nope, probably it's, it's thunder. the background. Yeah. It's thunder in the background. I don't think there's any thunder in the video. Only lightning. <laughs> so, the cool thing here is that the serpent did its ice breath thing. But instead of it healing, like it does on Barret, the equipment that I have on Cloud just negates the damage, but it still counts as taking damage, taking zero damage. So Cloud is allowed to counterattack. So he got the counterattack out, then his death blow out, then his normal hit out, so... Just fucking beat the shit out of him is what you did. Yeah, Cloud can basically hit up to three times. Oh shit. I'm a toad, or am I? Oh. Ribbon. <laughs> Everything but death. Oh, hey, look, it's Proud Claude. Remember Proud Claude? That boss that we fought in Midgar? Vaguely. It had Scarlet and, uh, what's his face in it? Yeah. Kya ha ha and Kya ha ha. And yeah. then we destroyed it and, uh, they died. Yep. Oh, here it is again. They made a new one. I guess. I don't, I don't know what that is, but I protect it against it because Ribbon. It's the Confusion Ray. Probably, that's what it seems like. But, everything but instant death. <laughs> it's the ray that bedazzles your butthole. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to be hit by that. Just so we're clear, though. Ribbon protects against everything but instant death. But if you had a safety bit, that would protect you from death. <laughs> she didn't have a safety bit. And petrify. 
Was that for the ribbon or the safety? The safety. Bit. Actually, well, the ribbon, the ribbon will protect you against petrify as well. Okay. But the safety bit protects, I think, against um, those two. like like death, death, um, petrify, slow, and I think like the countdown death as well. Because there's there's two different types of death. There's the one that they cast and it just kills you, and then there's the one that does the countdown. I think Ribbon will save you against the countdown, but they won't save you against the one that just kills you. Anyway, we just got the final attack materia there. That's what we were mostly here for. Um, there's another, like, there's there's other stuff that you can get here as well, so... Uh, just for, like, doing it, but I think there's, like, a random chance to get stuff from it. Nothing we particularly need, so we're just gonna have that final attack materia. So, now we're gonna come over here and... What, what is that? That's it's like warm. a little, it's a little dude. Is it dude or a worm? It's a little worm. Let's go check him out. What are you? Oh fuck! It's Ruby Weapon. Oh. What? So, you'll notice here that Yuffie and Barrett are dead. That is as designed. Uh, what happens is, if you come in here with all three party members alive, he won't do that instantly. He won't stick his hands into the ground. He'll do this thing where he causes like a, a, like a sand whirlpool, and it just sucks two of your party members out. And then you're stuck alone. So you go in with two people dead already, and then you just ah. revive them. So, uh, we're going to make... Uh, Pretty, pretty liberal use of items I've duplicated to do this, namely dazers and mega elixirs. This is the entirety of the episode, and if you look at your time right now, you're probably only about a quarter of the way through. This is a long fight. Basically, fuck Ruby Weapon. Yeah, Ruby Weapon's tough. He's he's got uh, I think eight hundred thousand HP. It was eight hundred or nine hundred thousand. Um. So he's a tough one. We've also got our ultimate weapons equipped. So what happens here is what Dazers do is they um, they cast Stop, and as it so happens, Ruby Weapon is susceptible to Stop. Nice. Which is very good for us. Uh, the other thing I'm doing is I'm giving everybody hero drinks. The, uh, the hero drink increases a bunch of stats, like your defense and attack and all that fun stuff. Uh, so, more so than, like, you've already got, and they stack up to four times per person, so I'm just... Mm. I'm using W item right now to just liberally pass out hero drinks. I was, I was wondering why you kept using it. So I didn't know it stacked four times. Yeah. So yeah, it, it increases... I know for a fact it increases attack and defense. Um, but I think it's it's all around. So I think it's both normal attacks and magic attacks and then normal defense and magic defense and I think it's by about 30% per drink so you can get 100% so we've basically doubled our attack defense and all that fun stuff which is very good here because otherwise ruby weapon will do like 3000 damage per hit which is no bueno it is indeed no bueno So basically all we're doing now is we're just kind of attacking with everything we've got. There's not much else to it than that. We attack until he starts moving again, hit him with dazers until he, so he stops, uh, and then beat the shit out of him until he goes again, and then throw more dazers at him. Hit him with the flashbang! And then he stops. 
didn't speed this up because uh, I wanted everyone to just suffer, feel the uh, the full effect of Ruby Weapon. <laughs> I don't blame you if you skip to the end. These Lemonbergs are pretty long. Well, Knights of the Round is notorious for being an incredibly long limit break. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do for the next episode. Normally, you would... Well, not normally. Normally, my plan would be to fight Emerald Weapon, but I don't know if I'm actually ready to fight Emerald Weapon. You should be fine. Eh, probably not. The thing is, there are, there are multiple ways to fight Emerald Weapon. Emerald Weapon is the most powerful thing in the game. He's got... Uh, he's level 99. He's got a million HP. And he does hmm. lots and lots of damage. There's also a problem with Emerald Weapon where he has an ability that will deal 1100 11 damage for every materia you have equipped. So, if you have 9999 health, you can only equip, safely equip, 8 materia or you will die. Which is fine. That's totally cool. There are a lot of, like, different... Um, different strategies for fighting Emerald Weapon that are... Some are easy, some are hard. Uh, a lot of them require you to have lots of materia. Um, oh, lots of the same materia. Like, there's one where you get th uh, three Mime Materias. Because Mime lets you, uh... Mime the last thing that was done. And then you get Knights of the Round. That's leveled up at least once, so you can cast it twice in a battle. Because, uh, normally you can only cast a summon once per fight, unless you've leveled them up one star. So that a two-star summon can be summoned twice. So you get W summon, you do Knights of the Round twice, and then the next person mimes that, so that they do it twice. And then the next person mimes that, so they do it twice, and you just keep doing that until it's dead. But that requires a lot of leveling of materia, which I have no problem doing, but it will take a long, long time. Because to, to get more mine materials, I would have to maximize, or max out the mine material I already have. Well, that's not good. Twice. Rip. No big deal. Was it important? Nah. It was just, it sounded like pills. It was a bottle full of Tylenol. Eh, close enough. So how was your day? Fucking stupid. Alright. Yep. Had to be the show for today. Didn't want to be that. Nice. God, this is such a long battle. <laughs> yeah, and this thing only has 800,000 HP. Uh, Emerald Weapon has even more. Uh, 
And these are entirely optional, too. Yep. I think I'm just gonna... order about 48 AA batteries from Amazon, and... done. Cool. Uh, yeah. So... That, <laughs> that's the, uh... That's the other thing about uh, Emerald Weapon, is that it's an underwater fight, so you've only got 20 minutes to do it. Ooh. Unless you have the underwater materia, which is very easy to get. Like, it's actually super easy to get. Um, so I'll be doing that. The under having the underwater materia on one of your your party members will just make it so it gets rid of the time limit. Nice. So, mm -hmm. this is what I'm thinking. I don't know if I want to go and fight Emerald Weapon in the next episode, or if I want to start the North Crater and go down there and get some of the shit from down in the North Crater. Well, you got some days to uh, figure it out. You can't solve everything by rolling dice. Says you. Sometimes you have to flip a coin. Even I... then, you can still use the dice. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, I'm just messing around with different different abilities, seeing what works, what doesn't. Nothing works. So, in August, gonna disappear for a while? You are? Or mm -hmm. I am? Are you? I, I mean, mean, I am. We both are, yeah. but... I don't know, what, what day is it? July 11th? Maybe we'll be done by August, who can say? Maybe. Maybe, probably not, but maybe. <laughs> if we stick to the same schedule we've been sticking to, probably not. We'll be done in 2019. Yeah, we'll be done in 2019. I don't want to be done in 2019. Ugh. That's when Doom Eternal comes out. Yeah. Sure. Doom. <laughs> and then we'll never be done. Oh, I mean, Doom is not that big of a deal for me. It's, it was Doom? The first... The last Doom was pretty good. 2016 Doom, yes. Yes, Doom 2016 was good. I mean, original Doom is pretty good. Because it spawned dude. Yes, dude. It spawned dude. Uh, when did we start this? This let's play. When did I publish the first episode? Let's find out. I'm finding out. Back, find out first. August twenty second. So last year. It's been no shit. <laughs> Last year. You know, there's more two times than just the year. There's like a whole like 12 month period. <laughs> it's oh, close it's enough to be. Doom's coming out in 2019. Yeah, okay, fucking when? Probably October. They'll probably announce the date in, uh, at uh, QuakeCon. I don't actually know when the date for, uh, like when the actual release date for Doom Eternal is. QuakeCon's in, in August as well, it's on the 9th. So, they'll probably announce more shit there. And hey, maybe they'll announce, like, a good Quake game. Hmm, 
I doubt it. And not Quake Champions. Is that game actually any good now? Uh, kind of. It's... I haven't played it much, but I have a key. And apparently I got a loot box from watching other streamers. It's weird. No. Oh. Yeah, uh, turns out, not the best time to be releasing arena shooters, because nobody plays them anymore. I mean, they still still play them, but it's not popular. No, nobody makes them anymore. When was the last, like, super popular game that just had a deathmatch mode that's not Call of Duty? Uh, Unreal Tournament. That was... I don't know. <laughs> not like UT99. I'm talking about like fucking they renamed the uh, like. Is that even out out though? I don't know. It's still. It's probably still early access or whatever they want to call it. Wikipedia still lists it as an upcoming video game. It says, uh, 2017, so... That's when it first came out, I think. Yeah. But... How about that Fallout 76, though? Yeah, maybe. We should just make the... Okay, we still got ten more minutes. Let's just make this the E3... The E3 episode. <laughs> Fallout 76 seems cool. Yeah. I like there's how... a there's a picture that represents my feelings about it perfectly. Let me see if I can find it again. Am I gonna have to like insert that into the episode here? Yeah. Okay. What is this the uh, the 22 and a half minute mark? I'll have to remember that. It's that one right there. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everyone, everyone seemed, like, so down on that game when they announced it. Because, like, the same day it was announced, there were all these rumors for, like, yeah, it's gonna be an online game. <laughs> and then, like, everyone was super down on it. And then, come E3, they show it off, and everyone's like, Oh, right, this is the greatest thing ever! This is gonna be awesome! And then, like, the Fallout, like, subreddit. It was just a bunch of people that were like, "Oh, I'm gonna do this in Fallout 76. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roleplay. I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a, a licensed contractor. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna build shit for people. I'm gonna travel from place to place and and offer my services to people who build stuff for them. I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a weapons manufacturer. I'm gonna, no, none of that stuff's gonna happen. You're just gonna get shot in the face by someone. Fallout 76." I think a lot of people are super excited about that game, but are going to be very disappointed because they are overhyping it for themselves. People don't know how to temper their expectations. It's not going to be a No Man's Sky situation, but it, it won't be good for those specific people who don't fully get what they're getting themselves into. I totally get what I'm getting myself into. I spent $200 on it. <laughs> so did I. See, what, what? they were going to try to do... Nothing. What they were trying to do uh, was make a Fallout Battle Royale. And we're like, you know what? Let's not do that. And that's what happened with Fallout 76. No, it's always been it's always been their plan to have something exactly like what they're making. Apparently they've been working on it for a while. That, um, that like, making of thing that uh, Noclip did is mm -hmm. really cool to watch. They were talking about... Uh, they talked a little bit about how they're basically... They're, like, taking the netcode from, like, the Quake engine and putting it into the Fallout Fallout's engine because Fallout's engine doesn't have 
any netcode stuff because it's not a online engine. And all the items reference to the player, and not a player. Yeah, that was another thing they said in that in that documentary. It's basically all of the all of the quest stuff and everything. It all it all references the player as a singular person. So that was probably fun to fix. I'm sure, like, it sounds like it's easy, but it's probably just such a pain in the ass. Yeah. I'm sure it was a lot of, like, having to go through the code and, like, changing every instance of this player to any player or whatever. So anything else you're looking forward to coming out? See. Monster Hunter, Fallout's coming out. Um, kind of on the fence with Darksiders. I mean, yeah. I still bought it, so whatever. I wasn't really into Darksiders 2. I'll probably get Darksiders 3, but I really like the first Darksiders. That was a lot of fun. That was like fucked up Zelda. Yeah, exactly. Like, one was great. She was like, no, oh, okay, it's more well, so it's the same. One, one ended on such a like a cliffhanger. It was like, oh, look in the sky, all my brothers are coming, and it showed them like rocketing down from the from the heavens or whatever. And then Dark Saturn Two was a prequel. <laughs> Fucking terrible. Uh oh, um, Octopath Traveler's coming out soon. Like in two days, from when we're recording this. That seems neat. When's Metal Wolf Chaos coming out? I, uh, not soon enough. I love that that's a thing that they're doing, is they're just re releasing Metal Wolf Chaos for some reason. Oh, hey, my phone's ringing. No one important. Metal Wolf Chaos XD. Yeah. Oh, uh, Yakuza Kiwami 2 comes out in August. Oh yeah, that's already fucking pre-ordered. I gotta make sure I have enough money on that. Mm. Monster Hunter uh, World wasn't supposed to come out for another, like, two months, damn it. I know. Messing I, up my whole schedule. I think they, uh, just fucking got everything to work for real early and were just like, eh. Well, they, yeah, they said fall. They're like, we're estimating fall 2018 for this. And then... Surprise, August 9th. God damn them. Yeah. Eh, no big deal. It it'll it can replace um that new Gundam Breaker game for me. Because <laughs> apparently that thing's shit. That was supposed to come out um on PC the same time as PS4, and then they delayed it like a week before it came out. Oh, um, Hitman 2 comes out this year, too, in November. Mm hmm That's already pre-ordered. Yeah, I pre-ordered that as well. Uh, there's another Tomb Raider game coming out. Also pre-ordered. What about... Uh, Pokemon Let's Go? Uh... Maybe. I... I... I don't know how I feel about that game. <laughs> That's why I said maybe. There was something else on Green Man Gaming I pre-ordered, I don't remember. A lot. Oh, Valkyria Chronicles 4 is coming out in November. That's that's a thing for me, because I really love those games. I'm pissed that it's coming out on PC, but doesn't have the Super Special Edition. So I'm going to have to buy the game twice. Oh wait, are we almost done? I think so. Are we? We're no. getting there. We're almost done. I think a couple more hits. Oh yeah, just cause two, or three, four, four, four. four. <laughs> oh, is this it? Nope. Come on, nope. we're so close. 
Don't die, Barret. That would be so shit. Eh? Hey, with the dazers. He's so close, I can feel it. You might need to see a doctor about that one. Is it dead? No. no. I wanted to see if I could poison it. I love that Barrett does no damage. Look at that, uh, 3,000 damage. Uh, there he is! He's done! Goodbye! Dead! Death. So, since we had our ultimate weapons equipped, we get no materia growth on any materia that was attached to our weapons. But everything else gets 50,000 AP. And we get a <laughs> desert rose and a bunch of gill. And that's Ruby Weapon. And what's the desert rose do? Um it's it's like a it's a special item. We'll Probably in the next episode we'll be dealing with that stuff with the Desert Rose and uh, getting the underwater materia and some other stuff. So, I don't know what I'm going to do as far as, like, if I'm going to wait to do Emerald Weapon until a little later and start the North Crater or not. I might do that, or I might, uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Good night. Good night. Fuck. Is it 88? Point six degrees now. Went up five degrees. God damn.